Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and we are here with another episode of The Book of Boba, and it'll be episode two we're watching today. Uh, just called chapter two, I guess. Um, but yeah, we had a little brief start, kind of a surprising start, or maybe not surprising, I'm not sure. But they gave us a little back story about how did Boba survive the Sarlacc pit, and how did he come about to being who he is today, as we saw in The Mandalorian. And I'm really pleased uh, with the backstory. It's I'm really curious about his approach of being the new leader, warlord, crime lord, whatever they call it there in Tatooine, Jabba's old seat. Um, curious to see um, the approach he's taking is quite different than what Jabba's approach because he's very much emphasizing respect over fear. So um, it'll be cool and it seems like they're doing a lot of flashbacks showing what has led him to this point and why he might be the person he is today. Although we already saw how he was when he was interacting with the sand people. So before I forget, um, for those of you who don't know, the person who edits my videos is the son of sons and sons has just created his own youtube channel um, under the name kratik kratik k-r-e-d-i-k -E you guys should check it out it's a satirical comedic almost dark comedy approach to the clone wars episode so he's going through watching the episodes doing kind of little um reviews and commentary over the videos um they're quite entertaining so i recommend you check them out and there's some other little star wars bits and blurbs on there so you guys want a good time you want to support sons this person who helped me start the channel and is editing and he has that same editing or if not better style on his channel and it's a little uh again some dark satirical funny comedy i recommend you check it out again that's the youtube channel credit k-r-e-d-i-k -E you guys won't be disappointed hey want to listen to some tunes i was about to say you always won't be surprised but that wasn't the right phrasing anyways let's just clearly i did not practice that so there we go off the top of my noggin in perfection Let's get along to this episode, chapter two, a book, a boba. Here we go, another episode, book of boba. Wee, wee, wee. I like that they have Fennec's helmet in there now. We got folks, oh, it's Fennec and the prisoner approaching the palace. I don't know if we would dub it Jabba's palace any longer. I don't know. Here we are. Let's get some questions Sandy. answered. What if he's not going to speak? He no longer needs his head. Ichuta! He is of the Order of the Night Wind. Assassin for hire. Order of the Very Night Wind. Oh, wow. Christ. You're paying for the name. Their reputation <laughs> is They fear no man. Perhaps he fears the Rancor. Oh, so the Rancor is still below. I didn't realize that that whole thing moved to position themselves to view. Are we going to see a... Uh... I was sent by the mayor! The mayor sent me! Hurry up! Oh, wait it's a second. Faded. Assassin of the Night Wind. That's right. I was going to say it died, didn't it? Shall we visit the mayor? He needs to increase some of his posse, huh? Look at them. Wow, there's a lot of Trandoshians. That'd be so cool to be an extra there with like some alien get up. Uh oh. We're here to see the mayor. Well, I don't see your name in the schedule, so you'll have to. Um... <laughs> Pardon the lack of. Pop. Uh oh. For your the mayor is indisposed for the rest of the week, and uh, there are, this is. Uh, I know no, that guy is not very. Where's their like guards? Apology. <gasps> Terribly sorry. He's Your the mayor. <laughs> who is this who enters unannounced? I the love him. Walks. It is the new daimyo. You do not know who I am, then why did you? I love him. He's a member of the Order of the Night Wind. Oh. I didn't realize I can get hairy. There's his guard. Wow. Thank you for turning him in. Wow, very sneaky. It was 
Jabba the Hutt's throne. Yes, and now it is mine. And I will take this payment. It's what you should have brought me as tribute. There is like a power struggle going on there. You should remember, before you threaten me, you should ask yourself, who really sent the night wind? I have no motive. As you said, I serve at your pleasure. I yeah. Put a fool, Mokshais. And those who thought otherwise no longer draw breath. Running a family is more complicated than bounty hunting. Go to Garza's sanctuary. You'll see what I speak of. Cute, a little Batman. We need our helmets washed. Mayor Mokshai sent me here as though there's something I should know. Now you're sweating like a Gumtown Mustafa. You haven't heard. Heard what? The twins have laid claim to their late cousin's bequest. Twins are preoccupied with the debauchery of Hato. Wait. More huts are coming? Uh oh. Is their loyalty gonna be? Are they loyal to those who pay them, or are they loyal to the huts? Oh, snap. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. They're gonna try to claim Jabba's throne. Oh. I would uh, not want to be one of those carrying that thing. Oh, they're twins? Are they combined? Are they conjoined? Or are they just... They look like they have separate bodies. Oh no! Don't eat that little thing! Says, I am Daimyo here. Oh. <gasps> A Wookiee warrior? Working for the hut? Oh my. You can bring as many gladiators as you wish. But these are not the death pits of Durr, and I am not a sleeping Trandoshan god. Wow. This Was territory that is mine. A jab? Go back to Nalhat. He's using that as a towel. Oh my gosh. They're cute though. Wow. She's angry. Oh, he is too. He's a Wookiee, but he's also giving me Harry and the Henderson vibes. <laughs> With the eyes. Well, that was fun. I liked it. So do we still not know? Do we still think it was the mayor who sent the assassins? Or do we think it was somebody else? Oh, I like their doggy creatures. Wow, so he's actually being taught by the sand people. Wow. Oh, and he had his own staff made. Show me. Is that a woman? A female sound person? Grip it firmly. And I love that they're doing this all through like body language. Cause at this time he's not he doesn't understand sand people. Sand people speak. Oh, is that what they've been hunting for this whole time? Uh oh. Crate dragon? Oh, no, that's like a a little train or something. Oh, no, it's a natural, like... No, it's a train. Oh, no! Dude, what the heck? What is that and why? And it's just cruising over the freaking sand dunes? And I like that he's just, like, legit... Living a part of them. Tuscan, thank you. I'm like spacing there. Sad. See, I love that they humanize them. Just by that, 
they lost that many. I guess part of that is wood, not just bodies. It's a very brutal lifestyle. He wants to make a plan. Oh, okay. I stop the train. I will take rifle and stick. I'm on it. Wow. He's communicating with them. Do they understand basic? Or is it through the hand motions? Oh, is that just a bar in the middle of nowhere? They're playing an arcade game. They are ever clearly not comfortable. It's not right. Oh, he does understand basic. Uh-oh. They're like a biker gang. That's what they're acting like. Oh, so <laughs> just some, he looks like a kind of an astronaut with that outfit, which some mystery man comes in looking serious business and torn up. Just instantly fighting. Look at him go. Well, guess that gun's useless now. And his stick doesn't have. Oh, maybe it is pointy. Is that weapon, that stick, based off of like a real one? That's it. That's all he did. He came in, take, took him out. <laughs> all right, back to business. Wow. Yeah, take your pick. Destroy a couple of them and take one for yourself. Or he's gonna take them back if they have like a locator back to home base or something. Oh, or he's, oh, okay, hey. That's cool. I didn't realize you could do that. Don't shoot. Wow. A gift for you. Wow, look at him being so This is how we will stop the train. They were like already taking it apart. I guess silence is yes. Okay. This is funny. Yes. He's trying so hard. Maybe not. <laughs> totally got pushed into it. Uh oh. Uh oh. At least oh they're going baby slow. Cute. This is hilarious. Oh. Cute. Yay! Learning! Oh. <laughs> Love to see their learning pro uh, process. Oh, the cute little... Did they put their own little designs on it? Are those their creatures? Look at them getting all ready. It's cool to see their... All the tools and stuff they use. They're getting, constantly digging for water and... Is he ready? He's learning. Oh! That was cool. Still, that was progress. It's time. We get to see it. This is cool. Oh, it's giving the Bantha a scratch. This is awesome. Yeah, they only needed to teach five riders. Is that the... The tribe leader, too? That's so cool. Like, I don't feel like we've seen that before. Wait. Are those the... The wormy peoples? Sniping out some snipers. Wow. They're good shots. Holy crap. Dude. Look what he taught... Oh, snap. Yeah, that mask looks familiar. I, I swear it looks like those... I'm spacing... Oh, his engine. They both gotta hang on. Yikes. 
Pull them down. Yeah. Yeah, it's based on who they are. They're part of the syndicate order, right? Yeah, it totally is. That helmet. Or maybe that's just the mask. I still can't tell. I'm too fixated on it. Oh. Oh, maybe it's just a similar mask. Oh, there he is. There they are. Oh, ho, ho. Cute. Wow, that's awesome. Even faster? What, to put the fire out? Holy crap. Yeah, get inside. Nice. <gasps> oh man, I love them. Ah. Dude. Took out six by themselves. Watch out. Sad. Whoa, that's a ton of Bantha. Do they not have... They don't have any guns with them? Nice. Oh, snap. This is a risky business, man. Dang, Boba's awesome. Uh, that droid's gonna blow the engine. Oh, he's leaving? Dude, what? Oh my gosh. Oh. Yowza. Was that about the blow? Oh my gosh, now let's get some information about it. Nice gun upgrades. Oh. I can't tell if this is new or not. Are you going to give us? It depends on how you answer what I'm about to ask. Are there like fish people? carrying spice? What does spice look like? Like that? Like that. We thought you were uncivilized raiders. We were trying to protect our route. Uncivilized raiders? These sands are no longer free for you to pass. These people lay ancestral claim to the Doom Sea. And if you are to pass, the toll is to be paid to them. Wow. Go back to your syndicate and present these terms. It is, totally, the syndicate. Single file. The I never the remember them having that. We'll lead you to anger. Now go. Wow. This is cool. Spiritual guide? Oh. Uh, they're like. Oh, cool. Whoa, it's like a rolling sea water, but looks like sand still. Kind of reminds me of that moment that Yoda had in the Clone Wars. Oh, he's. Dude, talk about trauma. What's it guiding him? Oh. You guys just took me on a wacky trip. Ew, that goes into multiple people's nose brains? Is that what his weapon's gonna be made of? Oh, they're dressing him. Cute. There he is. 
He looks cool. I like that they're showing him each step of the way. Now he gets to break it in. Cool. I like that others join in. Dude. That episode was actually very, very cool. I loved it. I loved that he had this he relationship he built up, the trust and the teaching that they did each for each other, the reclaiming of territory and land and, you know, respect for their people among the syndicate. And then him getting to have that kind of ceremony with them that was very symbolic and, and meaningful. He finds this people and again, they're teaching one another and having lessons and just really a really good episode. There were some funny moments um, when they were learning um, uh, writers and and uh, I was just really cool that the fact that they took down that high speed train, which was already a really cool concept. Where is that droid going, I wonder, and will the syndicate actually follow suit? But uh, it's really interesting because I'm invested on both this past experience of Boba and the current times. I found that the twin hut was very a cool concept. I don't recall hearing about them previously. Um, but I am curious to see more of them. It was well done and Again, also the mayor, uh, the Ithorian, which I love to see. They're one of my favorite. Um, and he's very kind of um, scheming. You don't can't know if you trust him or not, uh, but there definitely there's a power struggle going on here. Will his Daimo, da Daimyo, I can't say it not right. Will this position be seen and respected or is he going to have to fight multiple? He's having to fight the position against the mayor and now he's going to have to fight against the huts who rightfully claim it is theirs overall i'm very happy with this episode and surprisingly very invested and in loving this show so far um i find it interesting that boba both boba and mando had some sort of built relationship with the tuscan raiders because mando um knew how to communicate with them but yeah I'm excited and ready for another episode because this is very intriguing and I'm loving this backstory of Boba. It makes me like him a lot more than just the basically just the face from original trilogy and kind of a angsty teen, understandably so, from the Clone Wars. So yeah, this is going to be very exciting. So anyways, that guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and if you want to show your support, go ahead and give a thumbs up. And if you want to see more and know when the next video goes live, hit that subscribe button. And if you are also interested in seeing additional content, I recommend you checking out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash zell, X-E-L-L-L-E. -L -L -E. um, it's kind of sporadic streaming right now, schedule wise, but I usually stream. It would be either Thursday, Friday or Saturday. Um, and I stream games different games or I do chatting and you can always pop in there and ask a question if you have a Star Wars question because I'm all for answering but again guys thanks so much for watching and supporting and I'm ready for the ex next episode I don't know about you but hope to see you there and I'll see you then